In this short video, we're going to learn a technique for finding the derivative of certain functions using the aid of logarithms. Let's motivate this with an example. Suppose that I have a function which looks like an exponential, but really it's that because the base is x, it's not a constant. And the uh, exponent is a function of x. So both the base and the exponent are functions of x. So none of our rules of differentiation apply in this case. That doesn't mean we can't find the derivative. It just means we have to do more work. So we're going to start by taking the log of both sides of that equation. Now I can use a log property here to bring the sine x out in front of the natural log of x. And now I can differentiate both sides. On the left hand side, I'll have to use implicit differentiation. On the right hand side, I can just use straightforward explicit di differentiation. So I'll get 1 over y times y prime on the left. On the right, I'll need to use the product rule. So the derivative of sine would be cosine of x times natural log of x. And then I'll have plus sine of x times the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1 over x. And we can solve that for y prime. Just multiply both sides by y. I'll have to put this expression in brackets to show that the whole thing is being multiplied by y. And finally, I'll replace y with its original equation, or original formula, and so I'll get the expression x raised to the power of sine x times the quantity cosine of x times natural log of x plus sine of x over x. And that's my derivative. So what were the steps that were used? So this is a useful technique. I say when we have this type of function, but we're going to see an example where the process is useful to help solve other problems as well. And what is the process? Well, we start by taking the log of both sides. And then we use a log property to bring the exponent out in front as a multiplier. Then we take the derivative implicitly on the left, explicitly on the right, multiply both sides by y, and replace y with the original formula. So I want to caution you, don't try to memorize any of the, this final formula, for example. Um, that's just going to be a lot of work. You're likely to forget some part of it. You're going to make a mistake. And it, it shows that you really don't understand where it comes from, but that's where the whole value is. It's this process, this idea of starting by taking the log of both sides, using any relevant log properties, then taking the derivative, and then solving for what you're looking for. So try to think about these steps that we're using, taking the log, using the log properties, differentiating implicitly. So here's an example. We'd like to find the slope of the tangent line to y equals x raised to the power of x at the point 2 comma 4. Well, we'll start by taking the log of both sides. I'll bring the x, which is in the exponent, out in front as a multiplier. I'll differentiate both sides. On the left, I have to use implicit differentiation. On the right, I just needed to use the product rule to calculate that derivative. 
but look, I have x times 1 over x. That's going to give me 1. And so now I can solve for y prime and replace y with x to the power of x. Now I'd like to evaluate that because I, the slope is going to be a number. And so I'll evaluate that when x equals 2 to get 4 times the quantity natural log of 2 plus 1. In our last example, we have a different type of problem but we can use the same techniques that we used to solve the other examples. We're given that f of x is a log function. It's log base b of 5x cubed minus 4. And what we're asked to find is the value of b, where f prime of 1 equals 5. So b is what we're solving for. What base will make f prime of 1 equal to 5. Well, first thing I'm going to do is write the f of x as y. And the techniques that we learned dealt with exponentials, so I'm going to rewrite this in exponential form. b raised to the power of y equals 5x cubed minus 4. Now I'm going to take the natural log of each side. I could have chose a different base, but we know that finding the derivative of a natural log is the simplest derivative to calculate. So that's why I use natural log. I'll bring the y out in front. Now I just have this constant natural log of b times y equals the function natural log of 5x cubed minus 4. Let's take the derivative of each side. So derivative of the outside on the left-hand side is just 1 over 5x cubed minus 4. Multiply that times the derivative of the inside, which is 15x squared. On the right-hand side, I just get y prime times the natural log of b. So I can solve this for y prime. And now I use the information that's given to me, that y prime, when x equals 1, y prime should equal 5. So I'll replace y prime with 5. I'll replace x with 1. Now notice that 5 times 1 cubed is 5. 5 minus 4 uh, is 1. So I just have 5 equals 15 over the natural log of b times 1. So I can go ahead and solve that for the natural log of b to get natural log of b equals 3, which means b has to be e to the power of 3.